I went to a small liberal arts college 40 years ago as a freshman and a nice advantage of being in a small college is that sometimes there will be unique classes and uh, smaller classes and you get to know the professors and stuff and in this case Maryville offers what was called the interim class back then and uh, that's between Thanksgiving and Christmas there was one class you took for three weeks and intensive every day and uh, they were offering a class on dulcimer building and uh, there were several people that were taking they had kits uh, supplied for them it was like 75 bucks a kit and back then in 1976 I couldn't really afford that so uh, I was one of three people in the class who decided to build one from scratch at the time I never even knew what a dulcimer was and I didn't even sign up for it a friend of mine signed me up for it and I uh, ended up I said eh, well why not so I built the first dulcimer from scratch with some help from a student and uh, kind of got hooked on it I built it completely opposite of any of the the kits the kits were beautiful and uh, as to be expected but uh, my first one was not particularly beautiful uh, but it didn't matter because it made a sound when I did this. So uh, that was fine. That's all I really needed. What I like to do at this point and what I've always liked to do is to get input from potential customers and uh, have them help me design what they want. Um, there are traditional sound holes and uh, the one that I have right in front of me are the traditional heart sound holes. Uh, there are some that you can get really fancy schmancy with and uh, I pretty much like to do what people would like and that kind of makes them unique and, uh, and a, sort of a one-of-a-kind pieces. I kind of like that idea. It's uh, that no two of them are exactly alike. It sounds very strange to say this. I guess I would be called a tree hugger uh, because I, I appreciate what the, the value, the the grains of the woods, the, the beauty that, uh, that comes through the wood that I work with.